Hello! In this video, I will show the integration between QViewer and EasyMorph. Let's open a QVD file in QViewer first. For this, I drag the QVD right into QViewer, like this. In order to pass the file into EasyMorph, press Morph It button. When you press it, it launches EasyMorph and loads the data in EasyMorph. Now you can transform and analyze this data using more than 30 different transformations. Let's start with something basic. Let's apply a filter. In this table we have companies in different states, in different cities, and we have revenue and number of workers for every company. Let's filter and leave only companies in some certain states. In order to, to do this, I right click column header and choose filter. Then I select the states I'm interested in. Well, actually, I'm clicking just random states. Then I press Calculate. Like in QViewer, in EasyMorph, you can double-click column header and see the list of unique values in this column. As you can see, now we have only few states selected. Notice that uh, EasyMorph automatically creates a transformation. You can always go back to any previous transformation and see its result. For instance, here we have 51 state. But once we apply the filter, we have only 9 states. Let's apply a different kind of filter, filter by condition. To add a transformation, I click Add Transformation, Filters, and then I drag the transformation right onto the table, like this. Now I need to specify the condition. I open Expression Editor and enter the condition. Workers greater than 100. Besides basic operations, we can also use a number of functions to work with numbers, text, dates, and also some logical and special functions. Once condition is ready, let's click Calculate. Now we have only companies with number of workers greater than 100. Let's calculate an aggregation. We have revenue and we have city. Let's calculate revenue by city. I right click the column header and choose aggregate sum. Notice that EasyMorph automatically created a tra uh, transformation. Now I only need to specify grouping which is by city and press calculate. The data is calculated. In order to find to find the city with the biggest revenue, let's sort this column. So we can see that San Francisco has the biggest revenue. 
We can also export our data into Excel. Let's say right click, table header, and choose copy table data. Then I go to Excel and paste it. This concludes the demonstration. Thank you for your attention.